Must be an NXT guy? Who's an NXT guy? Alright, uh... Alright, I want to give away more of this land up here. Come on, come on, give me something, there we go. Update, there we go, we've given away almost all of it. I love how she's gone from being like some nobody duchess to all of a sudden owning large, large areas of the third most powerful empire in the game. So we're down the T section. We're getting most of the way through. There we go. There we go. A lot of T's. Update it. There we go. Very little left in Anatolia. One left in Anatolia. Or is that up to date? Oh yeah, it's just this. What's that? Starts with an L. That one. There we go. Updated. Boom. Okay, we're down to 54 right now. Okay. Someone commented on your yellow and black background. Oh, no, that's completely unrelated to NXT. But I am a fan of NXT, yes. Uh, it, my background color scheme is completely unrelated, though. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we clean that up. So all we need to clean up now is this massive coast. Okay. Okay. Um... We already divvied up a bunch of those baronies, didn't we? Yeah, that's why the number is lower. Didn't divvy up all of it, though. Okay, we're going to take one guy and start giving it to all of them. Uh, Bulgaria, and then that's not owned by me, and then that's owned by a lot of people. What, what's our next weakest vassal? This guy? Yeah, he's just a grand mayor. I think there's a limit to how much land I can give a grand mayor. But we'll see. We'll see what we can give him. Because he'd be a powerful merchant republic, giving me a lot of land. There might not be a limit because of our government type, actually. He's a regular republic because he's not a high enough rank to be merchant republic like us. Alright, this guy is going to be our western Greece up into... Up into Macedonia and whatnot, guy. We are almost done. Wow, this is only taking like 20 minutes to do. That's surprising. I thought it'd be worse. It is pretty bad. Is this one of the islands? Yeah, right there. Okay, we're getting to the names I recognize more. You know, Jerusalem, Damascus, Jaffa, Jerusalem, again. Oh, that, that was the Republic up there. Okay. Let's update. Yeah, that's why I'm mostly giving it to people who already have land, is Vassal Limit. We don't want to push the Vassal Limit. I'd rather just give it to already, like, va vassals who don't have much land already. I'm rewarding those loyal Vassal families. With massive amounts of land. Not Wolgust. We quite like that land. I do need to be careful with this. The whole reason why I'm doing it manually rather than just clicking one button and doing it instantly is because when you do it instantly, they really mess with you. Okay, there we go. We're not above our limit anymore. We did it. We just gave away every new piece of land. Pomerania! <laughs> do you think you ever do CK2 multiplayer? Maybe a little. It's very slow multiplayer, but it is fun. Mostly with friends. It's fun with friends. There we go. We divvied up the land. Let's... I don't even know what's going to happen with all of our expenses and everything. This is going to be wacky when it updates at the end of the game's month. At the end of December here. Oh, we can create new titles. Sweet. That one and that one. You can have... 
the uh, that republic because it is for that, right? Yep. There you go. And what was the other republic I just got? Nope, that one's titular. This one, that little corner, so it can go to this guy. There you go. Okay, man. Oh, more, more uh, duchies. Man, I wish I could have created these a little sooner. These are pretty helpful to have. But they just weren't popping up before. I wish the game was better about always making them glow. I think it's a glitch that it doesn't always happen. But it is very frustrating. Yes, you can have that one. Hum is up there. This one was over here, I think. Yes. So this one goes to her. And then Hum goes to this guy. There. I'm the best CK2 YouTuber slash streamer. Thank you, I appreciate that. You still in Steel City, Ontario? No, I'm not in Hamilton anymore. Uh, I'm in Oakville nowadays. Uh, what is phone lighting up for? No one texts me. Is this important? Uh, Fatima's on her way home. I will close the door just so that uh, we don't get background noise. This is a professional show. Still professional, everybody. I mean, it is literally my profession, so. Ooh, good neck crack. Okay, how's that murder plot going, by the way? Passable. We need more murdering going on, though. Send some gifts. Get some people to help us murder. There. Down for the holidays. We should get together. Awesome. All right, gather that. Oh, no, I meant to grab that guy first. I'm dumb. There we go. And we lost our marshal. He must have died. Okay, well, we don't need to siege anything right now, so we'll take this guy. What is this? Uh, good health. Uh... Ah, siege engineer died. And we gained some grace. That's cool. I didn't know I'd get a grace rebate on that. That's really nice. He, I made him my marshal and he immediately died. Cool. What if you uh, kill the Pope though? Then they, they elect a new Pope. Oh, he destroyed a title. I don't know why he did that. I'm just gonna make a new one there and then give it to him. Fuck you, don't destroy titles. That's worth tech. There we go. Wow. Let me just, there, all the glowing is our country. The, um, the Principality of Carpathia is getting a little bit strong, everybody. Uh, it, I'm feeling pretty good about the strength of our country. Uh, let's round up 87,000 troops that I can raise right now in comparison to the Holy Roman Emperor's 91,000. The Holy Roman Empire still has more than us by a little bit, although our troop quality is definitely higher than theirs. We got to get our threat down, obviously, which requires passing some time. Our income is quite strong considering we are still paying a lot of money for retinue upkeep. He needs to stop destroying these titles. That's probably going to happen a lot because he, he doesn't want to divvy them out. I'll give it a while. Oh, right. And wasn't there a holy war going on? Yeah. Oh, it's going quite badly. Apparently they lost a really bad fight recently against this guy. He's got 3000 troops, guys. I think we can take them. You're worth them. I'll join in. 
Yeah, I'll offer, I'll offer to join your holy war. I wouldn't mind taking uh, all of northern Ethiopia. It's, uh, come on. Do we not have any fleet we can raise in this area? Come on. Get a fleet, get a fleet, get a fleet. Come on, we can... 47 ships is not enough. There we go, 483! Good god! How did I get that many out of that tiny county? There we go, they they accepted, we're in the war now. Let's just ship over a good 10,000 people, 12,000 people. That'll win us the war. Raise more retinues? Uh, I don't know if we can right now. Oh, no, we got a lot of room to raise more retinues. Let's get it going! Gassars. Let's get a whole bunch of Gassars, because that is ridiculously powerful. And then we'll get a bunch more defense retinues for those awesome pikemen and archers. There. And we'll let them... Uh, we'll, we'll actually move them inland a little bit for safety, away from the coast, for now. That's gonna be expensive to build up, but that's okay. If there's anything you want to spend money on, it's having a proper army. We'll win that war. As long as our religious head doesn't go panicking and uh, piecing out early. Now, I don't suppose we have a bunch of ships on the inside here that we could pull up. Okay, okay. We could ship some of them down sooner. Okay. I'm just doing whatever I can to try and get my troops down there faster, you know? Gotta get them to the battlefield. Because they're not doing so well in this war right now. And we need to get our troops down there to help them. Because if we win this holy war, we could just take all of, uh, of Ethiopia. That'd be really nice land, because that is along the Silk Road. There's some good land there. There we go. Embark on the ship is just enough ships to get us down there. Uh... So we're against Devid, right? But we're also, we're trying to claim all of this. Okay. I'm gonna box them in. Make them come to me. Consumption broke uh, in Krakow. That's pretty close to the capital. There we go. And uh, disembark the troops. He'll be missed. Ah. Another siege engineer died. That's a shame. Those siege engineers did so well for us in the war. They're the reason we got so much land was those siege engineers speeding it up. All right. We don't have any siege experts left, do we? No, we don't. All right. I think I'll just uh, hire more. Can I request more master engineers? Uh, no, I want uh, siege engineers. There we go. God, that is a good, good, good bonus. Here's our best one. He increases siege speed by 200 total, that would be. Oh no, 100 total. It is giving me the total at the top, okay. Still, that is very strong. And they're a flanker. <laughs> I'm happy with those. Is Retinue in DLC? Yeah. I forget which DLC though. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna box them in. A Jew Sade. Is that a Jewish crusade? God damn it. Oh, that's great. There we go. All right, take that bit of land. Our, oh yeah, we're good. Insta siege that. It's like 200 dudes. This land is a little bit behind the times. There, fully siege that. That got us some more score and I'm gonna go knock out their army. They'll have a mountain defense, but I get the feeling our troops are better in theirs. They have a king on that. Their ruler is leading the troops, which is good for morale, but if we were to take their ruler hostage, that would really crush their war score. And their morale. Wouldn't be good for them. I'm 
failed. Oh, it's just them taking that. I'll just unsiege it from them real quick. And I hope that our allies here are going to take some land. <laughs> Mother in law died a natural death. That's fine. Take him out. Easy, easy victory. War score is looking healthier now. Okay. Crusade on our religion. No one's joined in yet, but a crusade is starting in a, in a couple years. Okay, we have another crusade starting against us. Well, I think it's safe to say the Catholics are going to be the ones doing it since they're the ones that are most afraid of us right now for obvious reasons. They're also the only ones who could really muster a defense. So, start moving the troops to the uh, border with the Holy Roman Empire. Either than this troop. We will try- we will be able to end this war in time. We'll be good. What religion are you? We're Jewish. We are the most powerful Jewish country in the world. And the most powerful country in the world in general. Uh, we have an uprising right there. We'll just knock them out on our way. Okay, we already have a bunch of uh, we have a bunch of Jewish people within our kingdom personally pledging to help us on the crusade. That's good. So they're gonna that means that they're not just gonna contribute their uh, troops that I get through the tax. They're gonna tr contribute all of their troops and personally fight in the war. Which, as you can imagine, is very valuable. Okay, we can insta unsiege that land. There we go and get it back in our favor. Okay, there we go. We have the. Uh, We've got the war score in our favor now in the holy in the holy war that we're doing. We're getting prepared to defend against the enemy holy war, which will start in just under two years. I like how we're finally getting a lot of uh, crusades here in Crusader Kings. All right, take him out. There we go. Good thing we just got all those those retinue, right? Oh, they do not know what they're in for. Once our extra retinue gets built up, like they they should be wishing that they could declare this crusade faster, because uh, that delay is just gonna give me time to get like another god ten thousand troops in in like a high quality troops in um, in levy or sorry in retinue which is so powerful. All right, yeah, this, this holy war that we're doing offensively is so fast now. Do we have an organizer on this team to move faster? It to really speed us up. No? Okay. Uh... This our best organizer? Yeah. Put him in there. He's also a siege guy. Actually, would multiple siege guys stack the bonus? I don't think it would, but I'm curious now. There, we have three siege experts on the uh, main army. We'll see. Red news are very strong. I, I don't think that red news are broken at all. I think they're well balanced. Um, it's just that we have tailored ourselves for retinues. Jerusalem prospers. Awesome. Oh man, our siege is fast. This is healthy sieging. Yeah, we can afford to insta-siege a lot because we have them done 10 to 1. I don't care about blackmail, whatever. People will know that I'm trying to murder a guy. Everybody already knows. Whatever. Ooh. Dejin could gain a bunch of stats and like us more. Le neglect your responsibilities, though, for him? Mmm. Ah, eh, do it. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, this war is very quickly going in our favor. It's the Holy War for Abyssinia, so I believe we would get the entire kingdom of Abyssinia, which is good land. That's a lot of good land. It doesn't have the highest uh, limit of buildings in them, but it, it does have, like, high trade value. Yeah, and it looks like our fellow crusaders down here are taking a lot of land themselves. Sieging a lot of land, really getting us that war score fast. That's good. Just trying to occupy as much of Abyssinia as fast as we can right now. Oh, daughter born. First name missing in the chat is... Went hit, <laughs> I went to hit uh, backspace and I hit F12. Is Marinery. Marinery's in. Evil duck. Duty. Education. It's a good one. Oh, we have such overwhelming numbers now. There we go. What's the capital of this place? What do they consider to be their capital? I don't know. Or do we already have? Is this? No. Uh... Oh, that. I already have that. Okay. Well. God, they're not doing well. Ah, oh, we lose the trait Brave. Come on. Eh, I would become bitter rivals because they're trying to seduce my spouse. Oh, that guy's a dick. All right. Ooh, how long until that war? Less than a year, about a half a year. So the defenders... Well, the defenders are actually stronger than the attackers so far, and I'm the direct target, so that's probably why. Troops are already moving to the border, so that's good. Let's get some forts going along the border here. Just in case they try to siege the border, you know? It's a bit unnecessary, but we'll, we'll get a few going up at least in the north. And do you watch JoJo? Nope! Black Death still hasn't hit the mainland yet. It's rolling through our holdings down there, though. It's barely hit Europe. Alright. And that murder is still not going great. Mostly because I... The kid's in hiding now? Oh no, he's finally an adult. Maybe he'll make more enemies now. Ooh, that's it for this stream, though, everybody. I gotta get this stuff rendering, get a little bit more work done. Then we got Survivor Series tonight, and the card for WWE Survivor Series is looking awesome. Uh, I hope that you guys had fun. Again, I stream this every single uh, Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern, although today I went a little bit early just because of the circumstances of Survivor Series. Um, and, of course, I upload all this on YouTube after. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.